a little pose down here with the world champ. This fire in my head got me on edge. I'm going out tonight. Fade it on a thread. Don't know what's next. I want to feel alive. All right, guys, we are here in Sacramento, California. We actually decided to come down here for the natural muscle mayhem, show our support. I always love coming down to this show because I do think the WMBF has probably the best drug testing out of any natural federation. And it was an awesome show last night. I do want to say we got Rashawn back behind the camera. Let me show, let me show the people, bro. Rashawn, Rashawn competed last night. He did his yeah. thing in men's physique. Yeah. I don't know if the, the veins are really showing. I got let's, cheese, let's step in the light here. Yeah. I got cheesecake <laughs> Check factory this veins right now. That's so. nuts. Look at that. Yeah. So he did his thing in, in men's physique. We said a year ago, we were at the show here with Pat and we were like, Rashawn, you should get, jump on stage, man, and see what happens. And he brought his absolute best package. I'm super proud of him for following through. Also, my boy Mervin from Hong Kong. I don't know if you guys remember him from the Hong Kong vlogs. I also just met up with him in Australia. He ended up taking the overall and turning pro, which I thought was awesome because he competed as a lightweight. I always competed as a lightweight. He ended up beating Brian DaCosta. I don't know if you guys know him, but Brian looked absolutely insane. Like I haven't seen that level of muscular development on a natural on stage in a while. And Marvin ended up taking him down. So my hat's off to both of those guys. They put on an incredible show. Both looked amazing. And then that brings me to Sam. So Sam Okanola was the 2017 world natural bodybuilding champion. So 2017, he was the top guy in the whole world. He ended up winning the pro class at this show, looked absolutely insane as he always does. And now he's gonna be gunning for Worlds again this year in a couple months. So that's really not a stretch to say that Sam is one of the, if not the top natural bodybuilders in the whole world. So we're gonna be getting in a workout with him uh, very shortly. We're gonna be hitting an upper body workout. I don't wanna spoil too much for you guys. You, got, you guys are gonna see how nuts he's looking. Got some leftovers here from last night. Rashawn wanted to go to the Cheesecake Factory, so. We had a nice meal over there. Look at this beautiful pre-workout snack. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I said this on the channel. I ended up getting sick in Bali. My last vlog was in Bali, and the last day there, I ended up getting a terrible stomach bug. So I, I've been struggling eating, so I need to get some calories in if I'm gonna train with Sam. Although he's probably on lower calories than me, even when I'm sick. <laughs> it's my favorite. Chocolate chip cookie dough, man. Can't beat it. You have to slowly put it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do? It's like a five out of ten. Girl, I girl, I like to stay here for a while, just you and I. Far from the places we can't get away from. <laughs> What's up, bro? What are you doing? Good to see you, man. How, How are you, you feeling? feeling? Congratulations. You're awesome. You did such a good job. Yeah. Yeah, you, you look unreal up there, man. Oh, it's fun, man. The mass, conditioning, posing, presentation, like everything. Like, you're looking for like a full body workout. You might as well uh, do a full do fucking. Do posing, hey? Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah, people don't appreciate that. Like, I remember after this show yeah. five years ago. I was sore for, my legs were sore for a week after, because you're just flexed the whole, it's, it's just all isometric I mean, contraction for ass, ass. three hours. Well, yeah, man, upper body, we're not touching legs. I, I, want, I want you to lead the workout. Okay. Yeah, so all right. let's see what, I, I, oh, sh this is the best plug of all yeah. time, by the way. <laughs> so, we've got the best natural bodybuilder in the world. He's, you've been running my program for the yes. last eight weeks. So, yeah. yeah, so right before you uh, came out with the program, I was running, uh, my program was like full time, four days a week. Came out with that, it's like six weeks, I'm like, Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, like, I think you took my program and just like split it into like makes makes it easy, makes more it efficient. Six days of you a come four to the gym, day. you're not really yeah. spending like an you know, an hour and a half, two hours in the right. gym, right. knock it out, go right. back. So I think you have some people like, oh yeah, it's it's uh, I just want to go to the gym. I just want to, yeah, I just want to go hard and like chill, bro. Yeah, yeah. You're not serious, you know. <laughs> you know, look at look at volume in terms of like in a weekly volume. I was like, oh, I just mm -hmm. got to go home. Same day, I just got to go home. I feel like I killed it. Yeah. So yeah, that yeah. kind of just yeah. makes it easier, makes it a little more efficient too. Yeah, you know? for sure. For sure. Spend my time wisely. So yeah, yeah. Definitely. Especially when you have like limited recovery capacity on yeah. prep you know it's good to be able to get those workouts a little more chunk down yes and you, like you said you still get the same weekly volume yes. so but anyway today I want I want to I want you to lead the way man okay. so well, what are we um, gonna start with dig into the uh, the archives here yeah. the Jeff <laughs> Dibbert archives <laughs> and see what we got so lap movement just like reactivation just yeah. you know 
get a little lighter reflection into also. Shout out to Chris Barakat. <laughs> so I like to do like, you know, about two, three sets of this, like, you know, 10 to 15. Nothing like super too heavy or anything like that, so. So one thing Sam was saying there about lateral flexion, the lats actually help flex the spine laterally. So if you just stand with your arm out like that and flex into it, crunch into the direction of the pull, you'll feel your lats contract. So if you're pulling in with the elbow and crunching into it at the same time, you can get a really strong lat contraction in the doing that. And then that carries over to whatever we're gonna do next, yeah, I find. Yeah. Like you get that slight pump going and then you can really feel your lats a lot better. Okay, so we're gonna hit the pull portion of the workout first and hit the push portion after. So we're kicking it off with these lat pull-ins just as a pre-activation pre move. We're gonna do three or four sets there. Just lightweight, really feeling the lats contract. We have 15 to 20 reps. Let's get into it. last night. You ready for this? <laughs> Bonus chicken wings and some salad. Okay. <laughs> not, not as exciting as you think it is. Not that exciting. I was, you know, so proud of that. Of course. <laughs> that was the pre That's a warm up and now we do three sets, uh, about 10 to 12. 10 to 12, 10 to 12. body weight? Yeah. And I noticed with these, you go really nice, slow and controlled, nice, slow, get yeah. a good squeeze at the top, stretch exactly. at the bottom. Yep. Cool, man. All right, let's get it. So how, how tall are you? Six. Six. Depends on who you ask. Six one. Six one? Okay, six okay. One. I thought you were taller than that. You look yeah. you look a little taller. Are you sure you're not like six two? Or uh, it depends on who you ask. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm asking you. <laughs> if you ask me, I'll say six one. Six one? Change. Okay, okay, fair enough. Well, anyway, for a bodybuilder, yeah. that's quite tall. Like, yes. you're, you're probably one of the tallest guys on the pro circuit, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, like, absolutely. do you? I got two questions for you. Do you believe taller guys? It's harder for them to do bodybuilding? Is it harder to build build muscle and be successful? Uh, no, no, it's not. Again, I, I look at it as, a, as an opportunity to fill out a frame. Right. And I think it's, it's, a ment it's a mentality game too though. If you look at it, oh yeah, sorry, I can, I can get mass because I'm a certain height or I feel like you're not doing yourself uh, any favor right. by capping your you know potential yeah. on based on quote unquote what you have in genetics or whatnot. Right. So I mean, I, can, I could use that excuse like back in the day. Like, yeah. you know, uh, I heard it before. Yeah. I'm like, eh, you know what? Yeah. We'll, we'll put our efforts in and see what we'll come out with. Because you're one of few guys who has that like longer athletic frame, yeah. but just over the, how long you been training? Like? Uh, working out for, let's say I worked out like three years, but I've been training for like nine. So nine for nine? Years. Okay, so let's so say 10 years. Yeah. Over 10 years, you've really filled out that frame to the point that now you've got such a nice tapered physique. Like yeah. if you can fill it out as a tall guy, it yeah. does look very aesthetic. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, again, like I say, it's an opportunity, right? Yeah. To add, yeah. you know, exactly. a slab. So. And do you, yeah. do you, I always get asked this, because like, as a shorter guy, I'll get yeah. tall guys like, oh, you know, I wish I wish you could give more advice for taller guys. Yeah. Like, is there anything you would change or is it just the same principles apply? Again, most of the story you hear is like a lot of taller guys. I literally just had a, I mean, uh, a DM today talking about this uh, typical sub yeah. uh, subject. It's like, hey, uh, you think a guy like, you know, a taller guy can fill out a frame naturally? I'm like, of course you can. Yeah. You know, again, everything starts with your mindset. It's not some mentality. Uh, don't fall into them. I mean, my calves is not the biggest calves. So let's talk about that real quick. Uh, but I'm not gonna say it because genetically I don't have big calves. I'm just gonna just, like give up and start training them. It's mm -hmm. just an opportunity. Like you know what? It's a challenge that right. I, per I take personal. I'm like okay. I like that, man. You see it as yeah. an opportunity to grow Absolutely. rather than a limitation. Absolutely. That's nice. Let the back recover a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna hit some incline chest press. I actually love this machine. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this in terms of like development, talking about development. Yeah. Um, I think. If you ask a lot of people, you rarely get uh, somebody say, oh yeah, I have a weak uh, major pack, something like that. Everybody, I mean, we all can use mm -hmm. like an upper chest to develop True, true, so, pretty much everybody. Exactly. I've never seen someone who's like, you got too much upper chest. Yeah. <laughs> so again, one of the things that I do is like, I try to focus more like a lot of incline movements. Just, right. I get a little bit like in the front delts and upper chest movement and that, For so. Sure. yeah. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we are gonna be doing this. Uh, we're gonna do like uh, three sets, uh, 10 to 12. Uh, RP is like, I don't know, eight. Nine to eight, depending on how I feel. I RP about how I feel. <laughs> Little thoracic extension, just off. This squeeze. Yeah, we go ahead and this. Boy, 
Let's get it. Here we go. Lock it. Lock it. Nice. Control. Good job, man. Oh. Ah. <laughs> That's solid. Good lord. -er. Trying to keep up over here. <laughs> Trying to work out. Push your day. I think it's going to be a casual work workout day. You <laughs> literally the monster itself. Bruh. Trying to kill me, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Oh. Come on. Oh. 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 oh yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. Oh, 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 oh. Lock it up. Good shit. Woo! Solid day. I'm gonna go two. Yeah. Or, yeah. Two. Uh ten. Let's control. It's really like a lot of, a lot of um, horizontal roll. I like to side again, you know, kind of keep my elbows flat a little bit. Right, yeah, hit more traps. More traps, yeah. um, rear delt. It's one of those things that I don't think, uh, you know, talking about illusion. Any sort of side pose, side lateral, side chest. So from here, physique just looks better when you have a little bit of like, you know, rear Definitely. delt capping. Oh yeah. The same thing when you do like for spread. Yeah, you, you can see through here. It adds so much more thickness. Exactly. Yeah. And even to the point of, uh, I mean, obviously front double bicep, front double bicep, it's a lot important. It's any opportunity for me to like, you know, engage or, you know, include or yeah. feel a little bit more like, uh, real life, I mean, real uh, deltoids. I try to incorporate that. So right. I like the uh, yeah. lab movement. Yeah, for sure. Up next, we're moving back to the back. So we're going to do a horizontal row, chest supported T-bar row, three sets, 10 to 12 reps. One thing I've been noticing about training with Sam, is his rep cadence is very controlled. Everything feels very intentional. And he's, you know, th I don't know if you're always like that, but at least uh, today. Never, no? until, you, until you get hurt. With mechanical tension, you wanna, I mean, ex I mean, execute the movement as well as you can. Yeah. And slowing down a little bit and taking the ego out of the yeah. equation helps me out yeah. uh, with control. It's good to see that, like someone who has a development who isn't just like genetic anomaly who's got bastardized form, you know? You, your control is really good, but you're still strong, but you're strong with good form, you know? <laughs> yeah, Once you yeah. get hurt, you find ways to like, you know, yeah. do things a little more efficiently. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Excellent form. <Good> stretch. <laughs> oh, come on. Up, 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 up. Good. Up. Up, 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 up. Two more. Ooh, hell yeah. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Up. Good okay. shit. That's hard. <laughs> you like you lose your breath. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> the heavier it goes. Yeah. Because if you think about it this way, literally you pull your chest cavity into yeah. the bad. Up next, we're doing three sets. 12 to 15 reps on our vertical press. So Sam is like, Sam is one day post show. So we're trying to do stuff that isn't gonna be too taxing on his joints and that kind of thing. So mostly sticking to machines today. So we're doing this machine shoulder press over here. One of my favorites. Love Ideally, you um, do like an OHP sort of movement, but I mean, <laughs> it's yeah. too, I mean, it's a very tasking movement. When you think of show day, it's like a 12 hour day of just trying to keep a pump. You're always posing. It's kind of like a full, a full day, day workout. workout. Yeah, it's, it's nuts. So his recovery, like even the fact that you're Crushing this workout is pretty impressive. Most people would just completely rest today. Just trying to keep up, man. Yeah. <laughs> trying to keep it's up. It's kind of nuts. It's a jab. Oh, yeah, let's go. Fuck yeah. Good shit. Let's go. Come up, 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 up. Up, up. 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 It's harder that way. <laughs> Jeez. Well, head no. I wasn't ready for that. Head no. Shit. <laughs> it's almost more like a behind the neck press. Really? Yeah. We're gonna do a little pose down here with the world champ. Try not to get too rusty. It's only been uh, <laughs> less than 48 hours. 24 hours. I'm delirious already. <laughs>
cardio. That's crazy. We're doing ladder raises, three sets. Obviously ladder raises, I'm into more, a little more muscle group, so I like to go like higher repetitions. So 12, 15, uh, three sets. Then uh, we go to some glamour muscle, AKA. Boom, that's what they want to see. Arm day. Let's get it. Every day's arm day. Let's go. <laughs> this, this is a fun part today. And again, we're not going for like heavy sets or anything like that, so. Rep it out. Animal. <sighs> yeah, buddy. Sam was just telling me he thought his weak point always was kind of his arms. So, was it last year you trained him every day? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to tell him about that? Yeah. So my arms, our arm size definitely shrinks uh, during uh, during constant rep, and uh, which again, when you strip all the fat down, it kind of, uh, I mean, brings out all the all the flaws that you had. So I needed like more arms. Uh, of course, we all look big when we have like you know 13% body fat. So one of my goals like for the offseason season is like train those arms, I increase the frequency as much as I can. So I train arms every day and I put something on Instagram and I think a lot of people I went crazy. What? You train arms every day? No, I'm not going like am rap every day on the training. Yeah. You know, I have like a full day dedicated to just arm training and I have it as like, you know, a complimentary workout to a lot of you new know, movement. Even sometimes on leg day, I'm at like two sets, you know, right. like that, 15 to 20. Yeah. Exactly. I've heard a lot of people have success with that approach yeah. too. Um, and, and it makes sense as long as you know, you're like you said, you're not going maximally every single day. Exactly. What are we hitting here? Uh, we are doing seated bicep curls, again, nice and controlled. Uh, we'll see how we go. We're going to start with 2 out of 25. Again, I want this quality over uh, just you know, trying, to, trying to get as many as reps, reps yeah, yeah, as possible. Yeah. I like to do these one at a time. As long as you're going to failure, it probably doesn't matter, but I find that extra rest in between reps, there is a study I can tell you about too. So the study was on lat pull downs, yeah. and they had two groups do three, three sets of 10. Yeah. One group did 10 straight through all the way to failure. The other group did five, rested 30 seconds, then did another five with the same weight. But the group that rested 30 seconds in between, think about it, they did a five, that's probably not that hard. Yeah, yeah. And then another five, yeah. again, not that hard because they had yeah. the rest. Yeah. And the, uh, the group that did 10 consecutive saw significantly more hypertrophy, even though the volume was exact same weight, same reps, but that rest in between hurt their hypertrophy. Damn. So I think you, know, you, you can maybe apply that to curls where you know, you've got all this rest all in between rest reps. It might it. not create the same right. fatigue, right? So. I'm gonna round out the workout, with some direct tricep work. So sure. just doing press downs over here. Higher reps on these? Higher reps, higher yeah. reps, uh, 15 to 20. Again, not trying to set records on here. I'm trying to get as much uh, stimulation as possible. Two sets, uh, 15 to 20. The movement I just did, obviously I started with just a normal like all price stand. And the reason why I lean over, it's almost like to mimic like over like a French curl or overhand extension. Just a better contraction for me and I can feel it more. That's a nice little adjustment to the basic tricep curl, I mean extension. We're gonna finish off with a little bit of light ab work. So we're gonna do some hanging leg raises. I've actually got a video on ab training with Matt Ogus on the way. So you guys can stay tuned for that. Uh, we're gonna do a couple sets. I usually go like 10, 12 reps yeah. on these. Yeah. Um, good, nice, slow and controlled like raises. And that's gonna be a wrap. Came in, I came in, I came in, did it like the Porsche's humming in. Yeah, flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again. Okay, I'll. There might be some people who are skeptical yeah. if you're natural or not. Absolutely. Do you, do you have a message to the, to the haters or to the the skeptics or anything, or do you just stay in your own lane? Oh, I've, I've, I always have a message. Stop being a defeatist. The way I look at it this way is like, when I see somebody that's rich or does well, I don't automatically assume that person's got like a handout in life. Mm -hmm. I assume they worked hard for what they have. Mm -hmm. That's always gonna be my mentality. Mm -hmm. That might not be true, but mm -hmm. that's what I allow myself to believe. Right. I easily believe you. If you tell me you're natural, I expect, I expect you telling the truth. 
and I have no reason to believe otherwise until, until proven guilty mm -hmm. uh, because I have friends that are freaks mm -hmm. and are natural so I've seen that mm -hmm. so of course I know it's natural so it's mm -hmm. hard for me to see somebody that's not natural I'm like oh wow I don't think so yeah put yourself in a situation to be allow yourself to be successful right mm -hmm. don't sell yourself short right uh, look at it as a motivation as a possibility of what could happen if you actually put time to it and don't just assume everybody you see that has a genetics a good genetics or good shape now is enhanced yeah. ask the right question how long have you been training how old are you you might you might just have exactly. good genetics you can't choose your own genetics you know you're given what you have and at the end of the day you just got to work with the best you have, which is you. So mm -hmm, exactly. But. That's really well said, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. It was sick getting in with you, bro. Let's cool, go man. grab some food, man. You, man. All right. Appreciate you, brother. And appreciate Get you, uh, the man behind the camera. Yeah. Give him a little <laughs> shout out for that. <laughs> exactly. He deserves it. Man, these fajitas look delicious. To they me. do. I was looking at them too. I was like, oh sweet. Have to do that. Look at that truck. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We didn't tell the vlog. Decided to come to Chili's after. Chick Fil A let us down again. Okay. It's Sunday, man. I feel I feel so bad for the guy why do, why, the why do we Why do we always want Chick Fil A on Sunday? Like, I don't it's just, know. It right. always works out that way. I feel like somewhere, somewhere, like the owners of Chick Fil A just like laughing and yeah. dying. Like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I appreciate your religious beliefs, but come on. I watched God it. wants us to eat food. <laughs> God wants this. I spoke to him last night. I spoke to him last night. <laughs> so my son, enjoy. I don't know what he's been telling you. <laughs> he's been telling me we need to eat. <laughs> I was gonna do the chicken fajitas as well, please. Yeah. And I would do the uh, the triple dipper. All everything that's on the uh, this picture looks good. Okay. It's gonna make it easy for you. It's gonna point at you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm trying to make your life a lot easier. So guys, here's what we got: some chicken fajitas over here. We got some rice, guacamole, cheese. This looks absolutely delicious. Now Sam got the real good stuff. Triple dipper, uh, chicken wings, sliders, and I'm not sure what it is, but it looks bomb as fuck. So. <laughs> And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna dig in. We're gonna dig in and enjoy. Shout out to Sam, man. I'm gonna put his Instagram right here. You're on YouTube too, right? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Yeah, yes, so sir. I'll have that link down below. Make sure you go check it out. Show some love. Leave the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys all here in the next one.